Hello friends. In the previous videos, we have learned how to test stationarity in the time series data with the help of augmented Dickey Fuller test and Philip Perrin test. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to test stationarity in the time series data with the help of KPSS test. So your steps are same. First of all, we have to import the data, attach the file, and then you have to library the package T-series, and then you have to apply the command. I am using the same file, Century Textile. In the previous lectures, with the help of ADF test and Philip Perrin test, we have proved that this file, Century Textile, is not stationary. So let's see what KPSS test show us. So first of all, let me attach the file. So attach, my file name is Century Textile. And then I have to require the package T-Series. Now let's put the command. The command to test stationary in time series data with the help of KPSS test is kpss dot test and then your variable name my variable is century textile so these are the results first of all it shows you kpss level then your lag parameter and then your p value now in this you are seeing that the p value is 0 0.01 which is at one percent level of significance but in ADF test and Philip Perrin test, you have seen that the p-value is more than 5% level of significance. But if you will see the KPSS, it will show just the opposite result. Now, since the p-value is less than 1% level of significance, or you can say p-value is at 1% level of significance, which means we reject our null hypothesis. But in ADF test and Philip Perrin test, we have accepted our null hypothesis. Now, what is the reason? Now, the reason over here is says over here that null hypothesis while testing the KPSS test says that the data does not have a unit root or the data is stationary. So, now we are rejecting our null hypothesis in KPSS test, which says that we are going to accept or our alternative hypothesis. So the alternative hypothesis in this which will be named as H1 is says that the data is not stationary. So in KPSS test since we are not accepting the null hypothesis so we says that alternative hypothesis is accepted. So, alternative hypothesis is saying that the data is not stationary and that's what we have proved in ADF test also and with the Philip Perrin test also. The only difference in ADF test, Philip Perrin and KPSS test is how we write our null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. In ADF and P Philip Perrin test, our null hypothesis says that the data is non-stationary an alternative hypothesis says that the data is stationary. But in KPSS test, null hypothesis says that the data is stationary and alternative hypothesis says that the data is not stationary. So in this, our p-value, if our p-value is more than 5% level of significance, then we can say we will accept our null hypothesis and our data is stationary. So since in KPSS test, p-value is less than 5% level of significance. So we say that alternative hypothesis is accepted and our data is not stationary. That's all for KPSS test. And in the next video, we are going to learn how to convert this non-stationary data into stationary data. Thank you.